This is the usual small hole in a jumper and they get bigger and uh, if you don't mend it, it's a problem. So what we've got here is either a moth hole, but I think it might be a tear. But what happens is that the links get broken, the links of the knitwear get broken. So what we have to identify is we've got little hoops here, some of which are holes, we want to catch those. And uh, we're going to work from the back, which is how I prefer to do it. You don't have to darn something that size. Um, I prefer to use threads. Now, you don't have to have a perfect matching thread either. Either of these would probably do. Just for demonstration, I'm going to use bright yellow because in my last demonstration, I used a matching color and I've had a few people say it's difficult to follow. So we'll try with this. I'm gonna turn it inside out now. This is a lamb's wool jumper. Lamb's wool does vary in size. So this is a slightly thicker variety. Uh, you can see that the pearl side is on the back and uh, th the lines of the knitting go vertically there and horizontally. So the chains go vertically, but these little loops go horizontally and that's how we're going to mend it. So we're going to start off by securing the thread a little bit away from the hole. Now securing the thread simply means that you're binding the thread around the back of a loop a few times. You don't want to go all the way through, otherwise you'll see the colour. Now what we're going to do is we're going to catch the vertical loops of the knitwear and go up the way, a little bit over the hole and then back down the way. Going back really, ideally, down the next loop. Now, can you see that I'm catching the loop, hopefully, of the knitwear that's been split there? I've caught the loop. So get back down the way a little bit. And then we're going to ease it together, just pull it a fraction. And we don't want to over tighten it at this stage. There we are, up again, catching the loops going up the knitwear. Now you don't want to take the thread all the way to the front. You're working in the back, in the thickness of the wool, in the back. There we are. And up again. You see it's closing quite nicely already. You change the length. So can you see I've, I've gone really with the shape of the hole there. Come back once down here. There we are. Now I'm going to go back along the horizontal. So first of all, I'm going to run my thread down a little bit. Because if you remember, the angle was like this. So I shall go over a little bit using the horizontal and then back again. And this time I'm going to be pulling it together a bit more. But what you don't want is a, a really lumpy, scrunched bunch. You're just easing these stitches together and in wool, everything likes to be eased together. There we are. Of course, I only get one go at mending when I'm teaching, so. Hope it's gonna work, let's see. There we are. And across the top. Now before I sign out, I'm gonna turn it inside out and we'll check. It's there. I had difficulty finding it. It's there. That's pretty good. So we'll just turn inside out and finish off. So to finish off, I should just go a little bit away from the mend and again do one or two stitches, one, two. And then I like to put the thread, rather than have a little dangly loop at the end, I'll post the thread through the back of the stitches, pull it along and trim it. Pull it slightly and trim it and it disappears. I'm going to trim that one. Now you can see, even though I used yellow thread, 
it's quite difficult to see here and I'll show you the front again. Here we are, this is the front. So if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't know it was there. What gives it away is a slight deviation in a line and there is a little loop there. I could go back and catch that, I think. Um, I might. Uh, now I like to press things, so we'll give it quick steam. Remember, the iron doesn't touch the knitwear. And with wool, that uh, unites the fibres. But you wouldn't be worried about wearing that anywhere now. Huh, that's good. 